This week we met up with Chris, Andreas, and Roman in their homes, and we caught up with Amber in Dining Hall on this week's The New Class. I mean, besides like the hair and the piercings, but I gotta keep people guessing, so. Dining hall, I feel like any, just like any place, has its like good and bad days, but usually the pasta is the best part, but that might just be because I love pasta. Maybe just a little bit. Um, pasta, pizza, or when they have make your own stir-fry bar, that's like my go-to, or I mean, grilled cheese. It's the actual comfort food Yeah, uh, Mediterranean, grill, comfort food, salad bar, the other one that I can't really read from back here, Mongolian. Yeah. It's actually a great environment to meet new people because I wouldn't have met half the people. I wouldn't have even met my best friend over here if it wasn't for residents. Because I'm from Ontario and she's from Nova Scotia. This is like, it's like an old yeah, school mix I did. Shannon, you checking out, man, DJ Little Rose. Mr. Gets It In. DJ Little Rose. This is uh, the place, I guess. The, well, not this room. I don't like live in a one room. But this is, uh, yeah, this is the living room. Uh, this is where uh, I spend most of my time, I guess. That's where I do all like my comic book stuff. That's where I do most of like my YouTube stuff from. Uh, yeah, and then like, and then my wife has uh, like her area over here, which is uh, her workspace, her desk, like her art and everything. Then I have like a kitchen in here if you want to come in. Kitchen. This is me like, I bet you dishes because I just ate. So I'm like, what? You can't see these dishes. Yeah, but, but, yeah, this is the kitchen. We have more artwork in here. This is all like my wife's artwork. Yeah, it's just the kitchen. All these and all back here are all comics. There's about 5,000, I think give or take don't rob me that's like yeah. a headliner so before I left my friends wanted like pictures of me because they thought the next time that I would come I would be really old so they made me go to a studio and, and we clicked some pictures and uh, one of my best friends, who's from another city, made this for me and she sent it to me home, so... Okay. Nice. The Man Off Campus Portal tries to connect uh, students with people renting out houses to students and that's how I found this place that I'm staying with. And I'm currently staying with a Canadian family. They're the nicest people I've ever met and I love my room. It's quaint and I feel like I'm at home, so it's absolutely great. Are you excited for winter? I don't know. Like, I was when I was in India. I'm like, I've never seen snow in my life. It's going to be great. My life is going to come full circle. And then I come here, and then I learn about the harsh realities of winter here. And now I'm a bit cautious. Like, I don't know if I'm prepared enough yet. Like, I bought a couple of jackets, and they told me that it'll be good for the snow, but it remains untested. So 
this is my house where I live. I live with my parents. Uh, it's pretty fun. I, uh, there's one, one, we share one shower between uh, five people. So it's safe to say sometimes very hectic in the mornings. You've been in there for 10 minutes, da da da. Yeah, it's pretty fun. <laughs> and then the other room is my bedroom. I'm, well, like, being openly gay in high school, I you see in the movies, it's, like, kind of scary and, like, people get beat up, but it's definitely not like that here. I found, I think junior high was a completely different experience because junior high is just junior high. But in high school, no one really cared. Like, everyone was happy for you as of who you are. But I know that's not the case for every school. I went to a really accepting school where everyone was super positive about it, but I've heard stories of people getting beat up in other parts of the city, which is really unfortunate because they're, that's just who they are. Um, recently, I met with the head of the Franco Jean Terre Neuve, uh, which is the new, like, putting out youth stuff for Newfoundland, and they want me to come in and do some workshops and seminars with uh, some of them about um, helping uh, if they have friends or even they're, or they're struggling with sexual or gender identity, how to deal with that. So I've recently been contacted about that. So I may be doing that in the near future, which is pretty exciting. They want me to speak to like some of the students about. Um, like what to do if like you're struggling with it or what to do with your friend and how to deal with it. So they want me to try to speak to them and they're trying to get a reform made so that every school is deemed a safe school.